cleaning. Um, basically, this is what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna make any footage of me doing the process. I'm gonna just basically show what it looks like now, and then we'll go over it when it's completely done. And that'll be by tomorrow. Today is May 5th, 2019. I'm gonna start throwing that in the videos too, the dates in the year. So if I have any videos with, um, we wanna, you know, a couple weeks later, we wanna see how a product looks. We, my last video will have the date that we applied it. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna be using it's just a uh, wash and gloss and just to give it a good cleaning and after that I usually hit it with the clean slate and then I'm gonna go over it and most likely I'm gonna have to do a clay bar to it I'm gonna I got some more speed uh, wipe left and then I have my whole homemade uh, detail spray it'll be clay bar in it and then after that of course I'm gonna use uh, my iron X and probably the tar remover whatever I see on it for tar and then he doesn't want a complete correction on it. He's not worried about like the fine scratches real bad, stuff like that. So what I'm thinking of doing is using the Gero's Garage finishing sealant. What this does, it does a little bit of correction and it gives it a sealant. It should last maybe six months plus with maintenance washes. So I believe that's the way I'm gonna go. And I think I can get a pretty good result on it right there. So that's what I believe I'm gonna do. And I might, what I might do if I can get this done today, I might throw it up, the wax on it, do best of show wax on top of it after it cures for 12 hours or the next day. And just to give him a nice shine and more protection for it. Plus I was explaining to him what he can do to maintain his vehicle. Um, that new uh, McGregor's stuff would be great for it, for maintenance once a month and it's cheap. Let's go walk over it. Sorry, my dog's barking. You can see right here we got some swirl marks. I'm gonna wash it. Got a couple spots. He just wants a good cleaning. He's not got a couple little scratches there. Oh, he said get. I'll get out some of them. And then right here, right there, we'll buff them out the best we can. He's not worried about it being like perfect. Cause we he want this. He drives it every day, so we want to preserve as much clear coat as possible on this vehicle. So. It's basically giving a little lightly, with that finish seal, you know, lightly correction, and we're going to save the clear coat on it. We don't want to keep, you know, since he drives it every day. We'll make it look good. So here we go. We look at it. So let me get to work. And like I said, I'm not going to have a show of me process doing it. We'll look at it. I'll do stages. I might have throw some footage in there, what it looks like. And then at the end. So, yeah, first time here, we do... Uh, hobbyist detailers we test out products and a bunch of products and we go to car shows we show our cars at the car shows and we talk about our cars sometimes we do auto repair stuff like that if that's something you guys like you know hit that subscribe button and like and share the videos that'd be great so all right let me get to work i already did yard work today it's already i think it's like 6 30 right now so i'll be out here for a while i'll put it in the garage when i'm done cleaning it and I'm off tomorrow too, so that helps. I'm off on Monday. And that'd be cool. At least the yard's done. Because it's supposed to start raining Tuesday for the like next four days. Alright, I'll get to it instead of talking. Hey, you gonna get to work? I see you. You ready? You gonna help me? Huh? You gonna help me detail this thing? First, I'm gonna start with the wheels. Like the beating and shooting results. He has none. There you go. But she's good. I guess it's just the way the hoods slopes. But look how it stays. Pretty much I already got it. Uh, decon got uh, got it ready prep for uh, to uh, get going on a uh, um, finishing polish. I think it's called finish, finishing sealant from Giro Garage. So I'm going to do and then take out some of these um, scratches. Um, yeah, end up getting, actually Fab Auto Detailing gave me that product during the winter. So first time, I'm going to try it out. And like I said, he's not really worried about getting, there's a lot of paint chips here. He's not worried about getting deep scratches out, stuff, paint correction. He just wants a good clean and put some kind of protection on there. And it's all, all good to go. Look at that. It's already shining on it from before. Look at my clay. It's done. I'm going to have some um, pictures on my Instagram. Of the clay bar i didn't i should have took a little bit of footage of the clay bar i mean it was just black on the hood 
certain areas. The hood was the worst for clay barn. And just to go to show you how much stuff it takes. This one's done. I'm going to throw it away. Um, I bought some more. So I got some Giro's. Uh, Giro's. I, can't, I cannot say that every time. I got their product. Um, their clay bar that came in a jar, which is pretty cool. I bought some of them, and I have some more of the Myers. That's what this is, Myers clay bar. Works pretty good. You can buy the kit. That's it. Look at that, man. That shines right there. I mean, I wish I would have took some footage before I kind of washed it. But look at it. Look how clean it looks already. Just by doing the Tyrex, the iron, and clay bar in it. And then using uh, that sister gloss and gloss. I know even though it's got a gloss on it, it does kind of give it a shine. But if you use a lot, it would it basically it, it will strip wax and stuff like that. And it gives it a good cleaning. It's a good it's a good soap to give a deep cleaning. And you can even use it on top of your um, paint sealant or a wax. You just don't use that much. You can use less than an ounce, and you should be safe. I mean, I've been using it for a few years. That product. Um, I really like that soap and I try to use it when I before I do it decon and that and then what I did too is like did a quick wash and went their clean slate and then I did a IPA wipe down of the whole vehicle also homemade right there it's just alcohol and water 50 50 and, and it helps clean everything up but uh, that's it well I'll continue on that and then we'll look at the final results Hopefully it should look pretty good, a lot better anyway. Yep. Yeah. Right now I'm already happy with my results. What do you guys think? All right. Let me get going, and it'd be tomorrow. Cause so I'll I'll do a little bit today, and then I'll finish up tomorrow. Get late, and then we'll do finish up this video. I'm gonna finish and seal it. Okay, we're not looking for perfect. All right. We just want to clean it up. A little difference. I mean, this hood's pretty hit, too. It's got a lot of... That. Hopefully you guys can see that. Look at that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I might go over it one more time. But I got a lot of it out. Now, this vehicle is exposed to very very industrial environment uh, it's a guy I work with um, this gets a lot of fallout and as far as I know this thing hasn't been you know waxed like this for forever so I already put some on there I gotta wipe it off yeah so this is gets fallout from um, chemicals coal plants Electrical plants, uh, a lot of uh, gravel trucks, and a lot of the gravel trucks um, carry coal, or would you call it coke uh, byproducts from um, what they make. And then you got Marathon. There's a lot. Of this, you know, that whole area in around Detroit is very industrial area. And these vehicles get hit. I mean, it's not normal like other places. Plus, salt for the winter. So, that's why we're going to get results like this. And that's why a lot of times when I test a product, it's for the environment our vehicles go in is perfect for testing. Alright, I'm going to continue. I'm going to have to wipe that off with some alcohol. And I'm gonna do that, but look at the difference. Even took the water spots out. I mean, I using the alcohol and everything. They must have been it. It's like embedded in there. I did a pretty good job. I shouldn't have no water spots, but you can see them. Look at the difference. I think it looks a lot better. What do you guys think? Look at that. Plus two. Uh, at tomorrow, I'm gonna put a the um, best of show wax on top of it to give them some more protection on the paint but yeah I don't know I'm happy with I'm happy with it I think it took out a lot of infections you know and like I said I'm just a hobbyist detailer and using a DA I'm just uh, going at it and learning as I'm going too so I think that's pretty good 
Yes, sir. All right, I'm gonna continue. So, you guys, keep watching. Dots after the Giro Garage finishing ceiling. Right here. Boom. Look pretty good. I used the um. Actually, I used the white kit pad a little bit uh, below the black pad. Try to get a little bit more paint correction. That's what I tried. It worked out pretty good. I did the hood twice. And then I'm going to get ready to put the best of show wax on it. But here's the results of it. It's the next day. I was out here to like 12.30 in the morning working on a garage. I mean, granted, it's not perfect, guys. So if you see it, he's not looking for perfect. Just clean, nice, cleaned up and get some protection on the car. I mean, the hood's pretty hit um, with scratches. But uh, I think it's turning out pretty good. I believe he's going to be happy with it. And then I did the, the glass roof. The same product. Came out nice. Did the glass with the pilot product. I polished it with, with the one setting. And then he's got some deep scratches here. And that's had to really get some cut and compound on that. Those are pretty deep. You probably have to wet sand it to get it down. But look at the shine. I mean that's pretty good from that product. Look at that. From the finishing ceiling. What do you guys think? You guys let me know. I mean that's pretty good I mean you know main goal too is using this as daily driver we want to preserve a lot of the clear coat and get some protection on the foam like I said it's not perfect there's still some a uh, little bit of scratches in there I'm um, spot I got wipe off but it looks good it looks nice and clean and it's gonna be protected for hopefully this stuff will last six months maybe it's washing maybe longer all right, I'll get ready to put on the um, Best of Show Wax, and then we'll look at it from there. And then on the trim, I'm going to put um, Adam's, I hit my ladder. I'm going to, on the plastic trim, I'm going to put Adam's uh, VRT on there for him. And the tires, I'm going to do the tires. We're not polishing the wheels. He's, uh, I believe pretty soon he's going to be getting new wheels. All right, right. done with the Lincoln. Check it out. Look at the metallic on it. These are the products I used. I used the Gearless Garage Finish and Sealant. I followed by with the Best of Show the day after. I kind of uh, treated the Finish and Sealant like a sealant, let it cure overnight, and then put the wax on it. Best of Show wax. And then we used uh, to clean up the paint, we used Iron X and Tyrex, and plus I clay barred it. And um, with my homemade spray, with a little bit left of my Come On Guys spray also. And then I put on all the trim. I put uh, Adam's Posh BRT on that and the tires, but check it out. Let's do a quick walk around. You know, it's not perfect, like I said earlier, but these products are great. Look at that, man. It's almost, look at that. That finishing seal, man, just shined it up. I mean, look at the shine on it. That's pretty good. It's not perfect. There's still some flaws in it. Look at it, it's already getting dusty. <laughs> he had some deep scratches here, which is all right. I'm not really gonna get them out. Just getting some protection on this for his daily driver. Look at that shine. I think too, after you always polish a vehicle and wax a vehicle, when you do that first car wash after everything settles, to me it just looks a lot better. Look at that, that looks great. Did the glass top. Alright, did his windows with the um finish and sealant. Number one, that's it. That's about it. Wanted to make a quick video. I didn't want to do a video of um, applying the products. Just wanted to show what we used to get this vehicle done. Um, it's a lot of work. I spent about seven hours on this vehicle, maybe a little over, seven and a half. Um, last night I was out in the garage at 12.30, got up, did a few things around the house, and got out here into the garage and finished her up. So I hope you, you should be happy and pick this baby up. All right, guys, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment below what you guys think. Yep, I appreciate you guys watching this. You guys have a great one later.